I'm Suzanne Ashford. I am a senior instructional designer with GE Digital, responsible for customer education for our APM software platform. I stumbled across the book somewhere. I don't even remember where I saw it originally, but I ordered the book from Amazon and got it in like two days. And I, I was excited about it. So I picked it up one night about 11 o'clock at night just to read the introduction of the book. And I stayed up until three or four o'clock in the morning reading the book from cover to cover because it addressed everything that my team had been wrestling with for months in terms of how to move from a traditional classroom style of training to something that was more for everyone and really hit the mark for what our customers were asking us for as well as what we felt like we needed to deliver to our customers. We just couldn't figure out how to put it all together. So I read the book from cover to cover in about four or five hours in the middle of the night, which means it was pretty good. And then um, recommended it to my manager. We read it as a team, as a book club. I read it again on my own cover to cover, just really obsessed with the model. And so we've been trying to apply it on our own for about a year and a half now, I would say. We've had a lot of conversations both with our customers and internally about what we felt the cluster model brought to our educational platform for our software. So we were really excited to try to apply it, but we were definitely struggling in that application of taking it from everything that was in our heads to something that we could put together and actually build. To be honest, we weren't very successful doing it on our own. We had a lot of great ideas. We were able to brainstorm a lot. We were definitely able to take it to our customers and reach them in a better way. They were excited about the ideas that we had, but actually being able to implement anything, we hadn't been successful yet. And so that's one of the reasons why I asked to attend the practicum was just let's actually get somebody to guide us through this so we understand what we're trying to do instead of constantly trying to do it on our own. Because I think even though we understood the shift that we were trying to make, we didn't fully understand how, we all had a different interpretation of what that shift should look like. So I thought the practicum was amazing. I think for us, the thing that stood out the most was that we were getting pushed to move a lot of our training into just videos, just create a bunch of videos and put them up on YouTube and let people access them. And we knew that was not going to hit the mark for our customers. Our software is fairly complex and deals with a lot of regulated processes in the production world. And so we knew that just throwing a bunch of videos up and having people find them on their own was not exactly going to work. So at the same time, we have about 40 classes that take about 90 days of instruction, all classroom-led, instructor-led training that was also not feasible for our customers to use. So we needed to find something in the middle. So I think the thing that stood out to us the most was that we could blend instructor-led training with video-based training with e-learning with a bunch of other different things that we had at our disposal, as well as forums and things that we'd never thought of in the training world and really be able to move people forward. So the most invaluable piece to me was honestly the 30 minute consulting time that I had with Crystal and Danielle, where we went through the cluster that I was designing and they challenged my strategic performance objective, which frankly is the basis of everything. When you get that right, everything else falls in place. And they challenged my thinking on the strategic performance objective. And that 30-minute consulting that I had time that I had with Danielle and Crystal just flipped it all. And so after I finished the practicum and I took it back to my manager and I just showed him the difference, it was a light bulb moment for both of us that it's just like, oh, wow, we've been making this harder than it needed to be because we were looking at it through the wrong lens. And what I, what I try to challenge myself and I've been challenging my team on really for the last year and a half is when you start talking about wanting to build whatever it is, whether it's a, a course, a job aid, a, a forum, a marketing tool, whatever it is, does it actually hit that strategic performance objective? And if you can't say yes to that, then ask yourself why you're doing it. And I do that with everything. And, and the practicum really just reinforced that. 
So we actually have a customer that's partnered with us on this cluster idea. They're as on board as we are, but they're the customer. So, but they're willing to give us all of their feedback and their perspectives as well. Like, are we really hitting the mark? So we're excited to partner with them. We actually are taking the cluster that I designed in the practicum and moving that into reality, actually building it out using some of the customer's learning assets that they have, a lot of their videos and things that they have built for their own people, as well as the things we're going to fill the gaps and build out a larger tool set than just e-learning and classroom education. We're going to really look at forums and all the other things that can prop that up and put that into practice. And our goal is to have it implemented by January with this customer, which is really aggressive. I'm not sure we'll actually hit our goal. Anybody who has a message that they want someone else to understand is a perfect fit for the practicum. What I love about the practicum is while it is very focused on education and using the rigor of all of the learning models that are the LD models that are out there, it can apply to any project. So I think it's really good for anybody, anybody, especially anyone in LD who wants to think broader and also recognizes that. Companies and people don't want to spend hours and hours and hours learning some things, like sitting there being forced through a system. They really want to go and hit the things that they need and get up and going faster. Our world has become a very fast-paced world, and being able to hit that mark quickly for people just makes them more curious. I think if everyone were upskilled on the LCD model, I think in the world of l and it would just completely revolutionize it because we are trained to think very linearly and from point A to point B and that everyone needs the same thing. And the reality is that we live in a very diverse and different and creative world that people find their own solutions to things and they wanna get there quickly. So the beauty I think of the LCD model is it meets you wherever you are and then takes you on the journey that you need to get to the end. I like the fact that the LCD model really encourages people to learn the way they want to learn, when they wanna learn, how they wanna learn, and to a certain degree, what they want to learn. And I feel like my goal as an L&D professional is to create compelling learning assets that make people want to keep learning even when their journey is technically done. You have nothing to lose. It doesn't take anything away from what you've always been doing in your, in your job as an L&D professional. If anything, it's going to give you the freedom to do it even more and, in my opinion, even better. So go for it. You have nothing to lose. I went into it thinking I already knew everything I needed to know and I was just going to formalize what I was learning. And at the end of it, I realized that I didn't know a lot about any of it, to be quite honest, but I had, a, I had gone into it with some very preconceived notions. And I just want to thank you for tearing those walls down and giving me a chance to think outside the box and creating such a dynamic and interesting learning environment for all of us. I really appreciate what you did, um, what you did for me, what you did for everyone in that, in those two weeks. It was awesome. And I can't wait to work with you guys again. Thanks. Mm -hmm.